And welcome to a new video regarding Unity and MetaQuest. This time we're going a little bit more experimental and we're trying to apply post-processing with pass-through. This is only available in Unity 6 Preview now as there were features added that enable users to apply post-processing and pass-through in one application, which wasn't possible before due to technical limitations, but now it's working. And I took my time and worked out a little prototype and just wanted to show you and give you a walkthrough in how to set everything up yourself. So first of all, download Unity. We're here on Unity 6 Preview version 6.0.4 F1. And the first thing you will have to do after creating a new project is to go to Edit, Project Settings and install the XR Plugin Management. After that happened, you can just enable OpenXR here and OpenXR on the Android side and enable the MetaQuest feature group. Uh, please note that it can be possible that you will have to close the project settings and open them again to get all the settings here. Then click on OpenXR, enable MetaQuest as feature group and all the MetaQuest stuff that's here. Add an interaction profile here. These are also the default values adding an interaction profile. I just added these two here. And in the project validation, everything should be fixed. And in the second round of settings, just go over here to quality, choose mobile as level of quality and make sure that the render pipeline asset is the mobile render pipeline asset. And in the graphics, also make sure that the mobile render pipeline asset is chosen here. After that, go to the inspector, adding right click. You can convert your main camera to an XR rig, then you will get this one here. And on the main camera, make sure to turn off post processing here. We will add that later on. Make sure that all the settings match here. We'll add the stacked overlay camera in a second. Make sure the background is solid color, black with no alpha. And that the post processing as it before is switched off and you added the AR camera manager and the AR camera background script, which will come. So it is here. When everything regarding OpenXR is installed, we have here the AR foundation package, which should be installed automatically. The Oculus XR plugin, the OpenXR plugin for all the MetaQuest related stuff and the XR plugin management here and all the other packages that are necessary as well as the Unity OpenXR meta feature set. After everything is set up like here and you have your main camera set up with the AR camera manager and the AR camera background, please remember that it's not possible to test pass through in editor yet. You always have to build it to your device. And the magic now happens here. I've created a new camera, added a child camera here, set the render type to overlay, enabled post processing here, the default renderer is the mobile renderer, and set, it, set up my global volume for some post processing stuff. In this case, it's bloom, tone mapping, motion blur, vignette, color adjustments, and so on. If I, for instance, turn off the color adjustment, the cube will be white. I'll choose to make it red here just to get a better visual image here. In the render pipeline assets, like here, this is the universal renderer data. Post processing is enabled. And the normal render pipeline asset here has the setting HDR, HDR precision to 64 bits. If you don't see this field here, go to the three points up here and check advanced properties. And make sure the alpha processing checkbox down here is also clicked as well. Everything else are the default values. I just added a cube here, simple standard cube, added a simple rotation script. This is just simple rotation. It's just transform rotate vector one. Nothing specific in the update settings here. And when I started in the editor, and then I go to build, build profiles. Android chose my quest here, build and run. And after the build is finished, you can see 
that the cube is rotating in a pass-through environment with all the post-processing applied. So please make sure to note that this is a preview version or of this is not finished yet. It works in the preview and we'll see how it will evolve over time. Thanks to the guys of Unity and the forum, I'll put the link into the description box for pointing me into that direction and help me creating this little, short little demo. And as always, make sure to like, subscribe and comment here. Consider becoming a YouTube channel member and a big shout out to my YouTube channel members. You see me here on screen. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.